begin the City and Community Relations com Committee meeting of Monday, August 22nd. Here are committee members Brenda Hastings, Kate West, David Parker, as well as school board member Barb Higgins is here and Superintendent Kathleen Murphy. Thank you for tuning in and attending tonight. We only have one item on the agenda today and is to discuss the school board's participation in the Multicultural Festival. Um, this is in addition to the Concord School Board's um, mission to kind of be more present and visible in the community. So I just kind of wanted to open it up to other board members to talk about with the school board's um, proposed participation, what would we like it to look like? Uh, the superintendent and I spoke about it could involve featuring some student organizations and clubs um, that who might be interested um, and who might provide a nice um, partnership for new American students who are just here and have a, maybe a more sense of community as they enter the school district. So any thoughts, initial thoughts? Dave? The way it's set up, I'm, I'm a sponsor, and the way it's set up is they have a lot of tables set up, and they have food, and they have performances going on the whole time. And the tables are set up so people can walk up to them and, and get information, and I think it would be great, much like we did with the um, market days, is to have a table, have at least some coverage of the school board folks if we had a schedule, because it goes from like noon to four or something like that I, I can't quite remember maybe 11 to four, maybe 11 to four. So, well, so there's a so there's a ten you know there's a lot of stuff going on but like different different organizations would have booths and I think it would be great if we could have information if we could have stuff on um, the schedules and those sort of things and just have somebody there you know and any school board presence in the in the festival it's it can be really well attended or you know depending on weather and other things maybe not so much but it would be a nice to have a presence there is the district involved at all like could there be like a table for clubs at the high school and kids that might not go to a table at, on main street in the building but are at a multicultural festival with their family because someone's performing and so they're there and oh look a, i mean that now I'm, I'm getting out of school board so i get it but no but i think as a district representation it could be a great avenue for student clubs and student organizations school board, to schools you know, school district slash school district slash yeah. exactly right. so i think that is a great idea as well kate i was just going to say that it does sound as though when we're talking about um incorporating the district into the multicultural festival that we're doing that right to celebrate the kids and for the students to be engaged so I think before we go any further, they need to be here and be a part of the conversation as to what they want to showcase and why they'd want to be there and what we can do to help facilitate yeah. that as the district, right? We get to, to be there with them and say, hi, we're the district with these kids, but it really is about them, right? So they should be here to help us plan that, I think. Well, I, I agree, but the, the, they've been meeting, we've had like weekly meetings since June with that organization and it would be good for us to check in with that organization and see how we can get our kids meeting with them because they said they're setting it all up and they've been doing fundraising and they've been do we have a name at the stuff. high school there when i was in high school there was a club that oversaw all the other clubs i can't the interclub i think it was called is there anything like that that it, that make it, is I there agree with you. i mean every club has their own advisor or whatever but right. is there someone that oversees all of it that I'm not, Could I'm, be a contact person? I'm not sure. I know um, Superintendent Murphy was going to reach out to Principal Reardon um, at, at one point um, to try and check in to see what clubs just to gauge some centralized interest. But the great thing about the Multicultural Festival as well is there already are a lot of students who participate in it, right. maybe with families or community. Um, so, so a lot of students are probably already involved in some ways. Um, so I think that that's also important for, as Dave was talking about, checking in with the organization to see who else. Brenda? One of the things that I um, recall we were talking about, I think it was in the Discipline Task Force, all of the programs that are available to students um, in the school district, but many students aren't aware of what those programs and assistance kind of things are. And if we had something where we could, when we're handing things out, 
you know, yeah, literature sort of like a, a connection, or a connection, right? If 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 you're looking for some assistance mm -hmm. with extra help after school with math or whatever it is, um, this is where you'd go to find it, just so they would have that and their families would have it because maybe even if the students don't take it that day, families might take it. And that would be good for all of the events that we go to where we represent the, the school district. Absolutely. And because I, I think one of the great aspects of the multicultural festival is to kind of uh, feature a bunch of different uh, communities within Concord. And I think if we're able to provide m resources into what the school district can offer as well, into a, how can you receive translation services in school? <laughs> Are there organizations or clubs that you can be a part of, like the Be the Change Club at the high school? Is there another similar organization at the middle school. I think just, are there PTOs? I, I think any of Maybe this you, information French is... Maybe French is a language you already speak pretty well, and did you know that we have a French club? Exactly. If something, something like that. Whatever they might be able to participate in that would connect them to the school and the community a little bit more. It's, it's a truly multicultural festival in the sense that they have the parade of flags, and I carried Norway because I'm Norwegian, so... They have, you know, Eastern European flags. I mean, they have a lot, there's a wide variety of cultures being represented. Um, and it's, you know, if we set up a table, if people came by, we could ask them, like, so what are you interested in? You may be out of, these are the contacts that you would have to check in with a particular club or a particular support, you know. If we could sort of be, you know, more maybe interactive, you would get um, maybe some... Interest, more interest, yeah. Any other initial thoughts from board members? Well, I think Angie that Lane is a contact person who's 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 doing the, um, the the executive sort of director for this year, the last year. But she would be the person to contact oh. about you know what's involved with putting up a table and those type of things. Perfect. Superintendent, any thoughts? No, I'm writing down everything that you came up with. Um, we, we already have lists of student organizations and clubs. We have that. We use Great. that all the time. Um, we have information around CRT. We have our trifold. The, probably the one thing we don't have is a significant list of uh, support organizations, which is something that we really need to do. Um, I'll check in with Mike um, when he returns and talk to him about... Um, student club i know change the, the change club at the high school they're pretty active group. they're probably involved somehow they're already really i mean involved. i can't imagine they I wouldn't bet be they're all involved um, From the, it was great when we had the yeah, student council then, i mean we had we representatives from yeah they yeah. were great when they came yeah they were out. great at the, um middle school has an actual I evening too a multicultural evening uh, over at middle school i had a chance to go in the spring um they had dance and you know all kinds of um, demonstrations and they also had food and that kind of thing. Was that through 21C? That or was, was it just put on? Mm, I don't think so. No. I think it was, they might have been involved in it. I yeah. can't say that. They yeah. may probably have been involved. So 21C we is another really supportive no organization. Kidding. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. About, you know, what we do. Okay. I'll talk to Sue. I actually have a meeting with Sue this week. So we have a few different ideas. So what are the next steps? Because the Multicultural Festival is, correct me if I'm wrong, Sunday, 18th. Sept September 18th, um, as we discussed from about 11 to 4. So it's a little less than a month away. So not too much time to prepare, but, but enough, especially as the school year is coming up and students are coming in. It's going to be a hectic time. Um, so what do folks think should be the next steps? It sounds like your first steps are simultaneously connecting with the people that run the festival to talk about what it takes to participate in it and connecting with the school buildings, right? And the administrators and connecting with the clubs and who would be interested in participating. And Kathleen, does Sounds that like a lot of emails. And I, I can get in touch with the organizer. Fortunately, my sister works with her, so I get to see her on uh, Zoom every single day. But... <laughs> Um, I'll talk to Kathleen, the folks. is that feasible for I'll you? I'll talk to the folks at middle school and high school. Perfect. And when I check... In 21st century. 
Yeah. Our next our next meeting isn't until after the event, um, coincidentally, a day after. So it would be a good opportunity to debrief. So we will not have another planning opportunity before then. Yes. I haven't attended this event before, but I, I heard Dave say that there are tables and there are foods. And um, would it be possible or worthwhile for us to have a snack of some sort at the to, to sort of get people to come over i know they make I mean, great cookies we could and stuff like that. that we could they, they have the whole menu thing set up oh they do yeah okay. we make because we used to make the me menus for them i remember that all the signs and, and the um you know dairy field for example has a table there and they have a couple of administrators and a couple of students and they talk to kids about dairy field schools and i think i think we have a role in in providing information about what we offer kids in the community I don't know if, again, we're coming in really late, if we can be part of that presentation because they have, you know, they have that all scheduled out mm -hmm. and they have all the tables lined up and they have all the, you know, they're always looking for help and I think that it won't be a problem to put a table up, but I don't know if we're going to be part of the menu scene. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, I just didn't know how it was set up, like, do the, is it just each table what, well, you have, has you have their a own stage food. where people perform and then you have chairs and then you have, sort of beyond that, you have a bunch of tables set up with different different little restaurants and then right. beyond that you have other tables they Better do the, the walk of flags from the baseball field out back to the it's lined up behind the um community, community center. center oh okay right right oh. behind there when it was on main street so it's all restaurants that was it's at right. and all the it, yeah. informational booths right. together that, that would make sense there, yeah. the food vendors. is separate from where we would right. be um right. it, and it, i didn't realize it was restaurants it, it so. would be pay so the school district could make something to give out. It, it would sell out very quickly. Um, and especially, you, you get like tokens that you kind of bring to each organization right. as well. That's a feature of the um, event. Um, You're not suggesting that we're cooking for no. this? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. That's, that's <laughs> I'm not that we don't. I was, that day. <laughs> I was actually saying the opposite. I, I don't know if that would be necessary. Well, you know, you can you get like we do with the school board stuff. We can put up. Mints. I think we can bring waters. I, I waters think and mints. Um, yeah, no, we don't need, want to cook. But no, I think this is more a great opportunity similar to what we've been doing. Informational, what can students access in the school? What resources are available? For I think if any of the students want to cook and want to bring it, that's, that's, but, uh, that's like, because we wouldn't want to deter, uh, we would want to help facilitate that, right? Not. We would want to help facilitate it. I will say that it might be a little challenging to do that because it would probably require um, having a vendor pass and such. So the students, if they would want to do that, should probably um, have a booth of their own just because it would make it very complicated. It's, mm -hmm. You have to get a vendor pass. You have, to, you have to be able to health and safety stuff for all that stuff. It's not just and these things are set up months ahead of time so that they are able to facilitate those things. Um, this has been going on since April. The, the meetings around the multicultural festival, so they're they're sort of winding down with most things pretty established, I think, at this point. And it's it's not to deter anyone from no. having food, but just I I don't know if necessarily the school board um, tent or table, if there is one, would be the avenue for that. I think it'd be great for the kids just to come up there and participate. There's plenty of things to do, um, and good entertainment. Yeah. Who's our new Anna De Pascal? We have a new social worker that took over. I mean, she just was so involved in the New right. Americans and everything. Right. Is this right. new person right. the same way or no? R right, she is, and because um, that would be a good, I will reach out a to good that. connection. Yeah. It's a good yeah. point. And I think we should have kids up there. I'm trying to figure out how. Well, think of, we have all these elementary schools. If 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 mm. if if. A staff person in a, and I know we get into like, ooh, too much Sunday work, but I don't know. It would be fun to have kids from the different schools up there. And what do we do at Chris McAuliffe School? And or these are the schools. I don't know. You know, all those kids go to Millbrook and Broken Ground, but most of our new Americans. It would be good for them too to experience. It be yeah, to get get us over the river, yeah. <laughs> so to speak. Hmm. Any other thoughts? Superintendent, any questions?
Do you feel like you have a roadmap for somewhat? I, I obviously I will be reaching out to the. Uh, we also could ex- extend a big invitation. Like when I think of the elementary, I know my head's going now, but so we have Beaver Meadow, Abbott Downing, Krista McAuliffe. If we have strong invitations for them to join their classmates across the river, because lots of Millbrook and Broken Ground kids are going to be there, that's their neighborhood. And let's let's have all of our schools up there, and here's what's going to be offered. There'll be fun things for your kids to do. Please go, and there'll be a school board tent, check in, say hello, or a school district tent, whatever. Then it's not like we're mandating we need every school up there. Right. I, I don't want to squash anybody's enthusiasm no. here, but the goal for you, this committee, was to provide information to the community about your schools. Right. If we were going to have schools there and clubs and organizations, right. I would. I should have been on this three months ago. Right. Exactly. I mean, I'm. I, again, I don't want to. I don't want to be the naysayer here, but the goal of this committee was to provide the community with information about our schools. Right. Well, then that's. And what your we'll voice was at the table representing that, and people came by, asked questions. We had brochures. We had mm-hmm. information. A couple more suggestions about mm-hmm. information we can do. Um, but it, but to to go to this extent, I I feel like I'm. It's not feasible. It's it's not feasible. We also have to remember that school is just starting, right. and this is um, two weeks. I will in reach out to the high school. I think the high school and middle school. I'll be happy to do that. Um, I'm happy to put out my next newsletter inviting parents to come yeah, to yeah, the festival. That's I think that's I yeah, that. I did one. And then we're the just a connection day. point I'll do up there. Another one. Yeah, yeah, I'll do another one. Right before school starts, I'll do another communication. So to Kate's point, though, it's it's be nice to have a few kids there, like it was. I think we were so better. So we need to get this on the agenda. Yeah, for we can just year. get and just get some kids there at the yeah. table. It's just a nice. Oh, I agree. We, and that's like asking two kids or something to show up for a few hours, yeah. maybe. It'd be nice to get some kids from the change club. Right. But I don't think it has to be formalized at all at this point. No, and if students are in National Honor Society as well, it's a great opportunity to yeah. receive yes. hours. Right. Um, no, and I agree, Superintendent, yeah, as well. Any final thoughts? Um, I have an irrelevant one. Yes. I've had an idea that I thought might uh, be, this might be the committee to bring it up to. I know um, as a community, we talk about the kids and their social emotional well being, we talk about wanting them to get together and things like that. Um, and we're worried about COVID, and so being outdoors is, is a better way to do that, to facilitate that. And I know that sometimes the library or other businesses will put on um, on town greens, like on, in front of the Capitol building, um, movie nights, right, where they put a movie on a projector and your families can come bring launchers and things like that, and all the kids can come and sit down and watch a nice movie together and, and go. Um, and I was wondering if the district had the ability to do something like that for our community so that they have an outdoor space to come and and something that they wouldn't necessarily get charged for right so that a lot of the community can't necessarily often take their kids out to go to expensive functions and things like that so um i was thinking which isn't necessarily again along the line of facilitating us giving information to the community about us but i do have a different idea about this committee and it's it's necessity to connect community right we're we're that's we're trying to connect all of us together and so i think a project like that would be helpful i think that's a great idea kate and i think that could be something we could look forward to in the spring potentially like with a lot of planning because in the end if you build that community those people get that information you were trying to give them anyway because now they're closer to you so looking at white's park pool get dug up and they're making a splash pad now there used to be so many community events around the pools in the summer teddy bear picnics and all those things for little kids. And I believe there's the, you know, the, the night out event at Rollins Park that's all about crime prevention, you know, that big National giant night thing, out. national night out. So there are some, some of those things that we can either try to connect with or look to for guidance. Yeah. I just know Mila ahead. got to meet a lot of kids from Abbott Downing and all these other elementary schools from summer camps, right? Right. And I was like, oh, well, it would be nice if during the school year we, we did that too It would be a kids. good thing to partner with Parks and Rec because they've done those things forever. Yeah. So my point is that that would be a great way for this committee to say, hey, we'd love to get in on this and maybe offer a, a school playground to have the big inflatable screen and 
yeah. anyone come come watch and because you can't charge for things like that or you have copyright stuff. Wouldn't want to sure anyway. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, but I think this could be a great, as, as you were saying, Parks and Rec opportunity to collaborate with the city, and I think this could be a great topic for the next meeting yeah. for us to discuss well, great yeah, and, as well. And to segue with them, I mean, we're really not we have enough on our plates. We don't need to set up events per se, but if there's an event going on that we can collaborate with and right and that's what yeah which i think would be terrific and i think dave gill i mean the people over there would be very welcoming it's a good idea bar yes Brenda. on a different note and I, I, <laughs> let me know if this is not okay wednesday evening this this coming wednesday i believe we have a back to school night that's actually great that you brought that up yes and can we do anything to help with that is there well, usually the school board has been serving food <laughs> and, you know, help out with that. We have a table for, we have a jobs, little mini jobs fair. Um, you know, we've got um, information and all that to give to families. And how do we sign up to help with that? Just show up. Just show, just show up. up. Just show up and what, what, they'll okay. give you a job. Okay. <laughs> what, what is the time again? 5.30 to 7.30 at Keach Park. To Jack where? will be signing autographs. To where? <laughs> Keach Park. Oh, okay. Oh, right. that's right. We went there. Yeah, right. you were there last place. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. we're talking about the same thing. I right? think you did the food, and um, <coughs> and it was just nice to walk around, talk to the families. That's the other yeah, thing. Yeah, that was don't, nice. Don't forget to wear your little pin that tells people who you are. Oh, God. Um, can if I you can find it. Online? Yeah. No. Um, but it, I think it's important to, to talk to the families, right. too. And that's open to the entire city, not just... Yeah, yeah. we send out information, I mean... Yeah. Okay. And use the, uh, the all the different organizations and agencies that we work with to get the information out. And for the thousands of people that just tuned in, we're talking about Wednesday evening, <laughs> this Wednesday, at 5.30 uh, to 7 for Keach Park for like a back-to-school info night. There will be some good lo local food, um, limited. Am I, am I correct? What's that? Yeah, anybody who wanted food. to eat, yeah, ate, yeah, right. yeah. ate enough yeah. food. Yeah. Um, so hope to see you. I pay attention to Keep those your things. fingers crossed <laughs> that the weather stays okay. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Any, any final thoughts for tonight? Move to adjourn. Do second. I hear a second? Second. All those in favor, please signal by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Meetings adjourned. Sunny at 85 on Wednesday. No raindrops in the forecast. Awesome. Right.